everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to another daily energy draw this is going to be for november tuesday november 5th 2019 and it feels appropriate to be using especially yesterday to be using all of the uh soul's growth cards so we're using a soul's journey for today's daily to see what messages spirit has for us um yeah yesterday was a little bit intense as far as the daily, um, you know, I hope we did a live stream. I'm pre-recording these. Take these messages as they resonate for you. Even though they are date stamped, they are meant to be timeless because energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. So hopefully we did the live stream and we got some clarity. So we'll see what happens there. But let's see what Spirit has for us. Spirit, what do you have for Tuesday, November 5th, 2019, please? Tuesday, November 5th. 2019. We have judgment. I understand that every that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And they just called me to the bottom of the deck and we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. This is feeling a little bit personal. I'm not going to lie. Um, but this could resonate for you guys as well. If there is somebody in your life, a loved one, your counterpart, a friend, who you are experiencing a struggle within your dynamic, Pull back and look at things from the higher perspective. Um, they're calling me to a, a YouTube video from Matt Kahn that I watched a number of weeks ago. And it was all about judgment and how judgment truly is an expression of self, but judgment itself is the illusion. Um, when I say expression of self, I mean that, mm, how do you want me to put this? Judgment is the illusion. And when you're expressing yourself in the form of judgment, you're just portraying the illusion. Um, I'll try to remember to look that up, that video up and put a link in the description box below. Um, but when you're judging another, especially when you're judging a friend, you're only having judgment on yourself, reflecting that judgment back on yourself because there's somewhere where you hold that judgment within. Um, I'll give an example. If somebody is judging the way that you process emotions, the way that you process um, experiences. It's only because they're lacking that understanding within themselves or they're judging themselves for not doing it in the same way or they are judging themselves for a lack of compassion. There's some kind of wound there, some kind of judgment there, some kind of criticism of the self there that they are then projecting onto you. So with judgment, um, Pointing me to, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. This is about self-acceptance, acceptance of the other, but also about the acceptance of the self. Because when you accept yourself fully, you understand that your path is unique, that your way of thinking is unique, that your way of processing is unique, that your way of viewing the world is unique. And when you fully embrace that, when you fully accept that, then you don't view anyone else as the other. You don't view anyone else as outside of yourself. You don't view anyone else in that form of judgment, in that form of criticism. It's about fully accepting yourself. And when you fully accept yourself, you embrace all opportunities, everybody else's opportunities to accept themselves and embrace their unique self. Okay, so if you see somebody who is wildly different from you, the old egoic construct is to have a judgment placed upon them. But that's only because you're not embracing that wildly different part of yourself. You're still trying to conform in some way, shape, or form. But when you fully embrace and accept that other person, that their actions or their behaviors or their way of doing things or their way of dressing or whatever it is, is different from you, when you appreciate that about them, Understanding that their differences, their uniqueness, is part of the beauty that makes up this world because underneath we are the same. We are the same as far as consciousness. We are the same as far as connectedness. But we express ourselves in different manners and that is part of the beauty. But when you're in that place of judgment, it's because you're not embracing something within yourself. You're not accepting something unique within yourself. Try to see the friendship in everyone. Try to see the uniqueness 
and the joy and the love in everyone without that judgment, without that lack of acceptance, without that fear. Understand that that person who is so wildly different that is causing you to have that judging experience is trying to show you something about yourself. That person is a friend. You may not know them, but that person is a friend to you. All right, you guys. Pretty strong message for today. <laughs> we'll see what we have for tomorrow. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. We'll see you later.